Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Professor Rao here, we are talking about IELTS and today let's discuss about IELTS listening test. IELTS listening test, let's look at the brief information about it. Listening test duration is 40 minutes and uh, you will be having 40 questions to answer, 30 minutes of listening and recording and 10 minutes to transfer answer from answer uh, question paper. There are four sections and uh, two social and two academic uh, audio conversations, rather discussions. You need to listen to the audio tapes and then answer the questions. Skills assessed in the listening test are understanding of main ideas in the conversation, understanding of specific factual information given in the conversation and re recognizing speaker's uh, opinion, attitudes while you are listening to the audio tape. Listening test sections are, listening test consists of four sections. First section one is a social conversation, the duration is four minutes and uh, an example phone conversation booking a ticket, booking an accommodation and uh, so on. It's a social conversation, it takes four minutes. It's a conversation predominantly between two people. Section two is a monologue of social nature and four minutes duration. Monologue is a speech of uh, by one person. Could be tourist guide, a company speech, news broadcast by the news editor, a news reader, so on. Section three is a conversation between two people of academic nature. That again, the duration is four minutes and uh, for example, planning a project and discussion on uh, career options and discussion on some academic, uh, you know, targets and so on. And between the two people, this conversation happens, which pertains to the issue, pertains to the academic nature. Duration is four minutes. Section four is a discussion among three to four people of academic nature and the duration is four to five minutes. Example, a lecture and uh, a topic discussion among the three to four people. And you need to listen carefully, understand the names of the people, the points they are discussing, then answer the relevant questions. Listening, the listening test, what are the types of questions being asked in the listening test in IELTS? There will be multiple choice questions, could be matching titles, uh, questions pertaining to map completion, sentence completion, summary completion, diagram labeling, uh, note completion, flowchart completion, and uh, short answer questions. Uh, various uh, question types, as we discussed, uh, there are 40 questions in four sections, and there will be any of these uh, nine question types. What are the listening strategies and tips of preparation? Listening, please remember friends, you need to practice listening test using an answer sheet. You can download an answer sheet, a sample answer sheet from British Council IELTS websites and please practice using the answer sheet so that you'll get a feel of it, you'll get and on a time board manner so that you'll get a real feel of uh, a simulation of a test and uh, you will do well. Use pencil, that's better so that you can make changes and modify and make some corrections, but erase it clearly and then uh, you can rewrite, and which is okay. So you can use pencil. Listen to instructions and glance through the questions. While listening, uh, you have time, a few seconds time, and you can have a quick look at the questions and the instructions being given in the audio tape. And you hear the recording only once, so you need to focus, very important. You need to have a complete attention towards the, the audio clipping. So you hear the recording only once. Highlight key quotes, keywords like names, numbers, dates, words, date of birth, or names of the people, and so on. So basically, these are the ones you highlight and underline and uh, in the question paper, then be ready. These four sections consist of 40 questions and you have 30 minutes to answer and you will have good 
10 minutes to transfer your answers from the question booklet to the answer sheet. Tricky spellings are spelled out for you. Very important, isn't it? If the spelling is a little uh, tricky and uh, a bit tougher, they spell out for you and uh, so it, they make our life easy. Guess and answer if need be and no negative marking. So if you do not know the answer, please don't leave it uh, unattended. Please answer it because there are no negative markings. Proper usage of uh, capital letters in words is important. See that, for instance, names of the people, places need to start with the capital letter. India, I needs to be capital in India. So please take care of the capitalization in the words. March, for example, March, India, Friday, Mary are incorrect. The first letter needs to be capital letter. Acronyms, acronyms means abbreviations needs to be in all capital letters like USA, UK, MBA, MCA, something like that. All acronyms don't write in lowercase, I all need to be written in capital letters. Number of words for an answer is given, don't uh, deviate. They provide the number of words need to be written for certain questions and please observe the instructions carefully and then follow it. For instance, not, use not more than two words, which is an instruction given and uh, if you write three words that will come in the problem and that will, that will take as a wrong answer. So you if using three words cost you a mark. When they ask, when the examiner, rather the, when the test asks you to take, uh, you will use two words, if you use three words, that will be taken as a mistake and you will lose a mark. Use complete dates, a very important. 31, 31st March, no, M has to be capital, right? So 31st March 2020. Pay attention to plurals and find out the, the conversation, the audio clipping is in talking in singular or plural. And you need to be very attentive about it. And uh, for example, if you write place instead of places, it is wrong, you lose a mark. So you be cautious and conscious about uh, singular and plurals. Answers can come quickly in the audio, listen attentively. And while you are listening to the audio tape, answers can come quickly. So you need to be very attentive. Have a quick glance uh, in all the questions and then be ready and uh, listen to carefully and keep answering the questions. Answers may come quickly in quick succession so that you can uh, you can quickly uh, jot down the answers or at times there may be a gap be ready for that as well make notes on the question paper there may be a gap between the answers in audio audio tape audio clipping when you are listening don't do not panic there is a gap don't worry and please wait for the answer in the, in the audio clipping get used to different accents of english Predominantly in IELTS, they use uh, UK, US, Australia. These are the three uh, English accents being used. So get used to it and please prepare. If you miss an answer for one question, please move quickly to the next one. No worry, if you miss one uh, answer to one particular question, don't brood over it and please quickly go to the next one and you can come back later. Write the words as you hear. Answer has to match word for word with spelling and grammar intact. Listen carefully. Write the words as you hear. Like we have seen, place instead of places is wrong. If in the audio tape, if uh, the conversation is talking about places of tourist importance, tourism importance, and you need to write plural places, not place. Check for work. Working uh, headphones before the test, very important. Check whether your headphone is working and uh, please, uh, before the test, and please report and uh, go for replacement. If there are two answers to a question, please, you know, you'll be mark, given one mark, one point, but nevertheless, if there are two answers to a question, please, uh, please write those two answers separated by a comma. Please stay focused. Concentrate is very important. Conversation, audio tape keeps keeps moving and you need to listen carefully. Listening test is all about concentration and the complete attention to details. And if you, fo you are focused and uh, concentrate and listen and answer while listening and uh, take conscious effort towards uh, answering, 
with all the focus and concentration you will achieve your success wish you all the best for ielts listening test thank you bye bye